Hello, I'm Sherry Collins, Executive Director of the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and the Hard of Hearing, and here with us today... Howard Rosenblum, CEO of the National Association of the Deaf. We're so happy to have Howard here in town. He's here for several reasons, one of which is to focus on pre-planning for the 2016 NAD conference that's going to be happening in July of 2016. We'll explain more about that conference as we go. I also happen to be on the NAD board representing Region 4, which is comprised of 13 western states. My colleague David Reynolds, who lives in California, is also a Region 4 representative. We're very excited to have NAD on the west coast. So let's talk about what's happening at the conference. There are some new things that will be taking place for the first time at NAD this year. Sure. First of all, this will be the first time that the conference is hosted in Arizona. After 135 years. True, true. We're looking forward to it. And you're right, we have some new events planned. NAD regularly hosts conferences, but for the first time two years ago, an RID conference joined NAD's national conference. It was very nice to have the RID Region 2 conference integrated with NAD's conference. This year, we will have even more organizations joining us, RID Region 5, the National Deaf Education Conference, NDEC, which is a conference for teachers of the deaf to come together and learn from one another, as well as Deaf and Hard of Hearing and Government, DIG, will host their conferences in conjunction with NAD. It'll be great to have three independent organizations working alongside with us. Yes, that will present many opportunities. Because there are so many organizations participating, will participants be able to purchase a combo ticket so that they can choose workshops from each of the conferences? I know that's something you've been working on. Yes, participants can purchase a ticket for the NAD conference that will give them access to any workshop from DIG, RID, and NDEC. Folks will not have to purchase separate tickets. In addition, NAD will host nightly events that all participants are welcome to attend. We call these events NAD at night. The first evening, there will be an open ceremony to kick off the conference. On the second evening, we will host a community forum where we will discuss various issues. It is free and you do not need a ticket to the conference in order to attend. There will be a college bowl on the third evening where students from various colleges and universities will participate in an intellectual competition. On the fourth evening, the Youth Ambassador Program will have an event and there will be a family fun day on Saturday during the day and into the evening. There are many events to choose from. We're also hoping to host a 4th of July celebration. Planning is in the works for that. There is a lot happening. Yes, we are partnering with the Commission and the Arizona Association of the Deaf for that event. Exactly. So now let's talk about the exhibit hall. I think it's important that people are aware of it because it will be open to the public. That's right. The NAD conference has an exhibit hall that is free and open to the public. All are welcome to come and see the exhibitors. The exhibit hall will be a large room in the Phoenix Convention Center, which is just one block away from the conference hotel, the Renaissance by Marriott. Most of the conference events will take place at the convention center. Right. So now let's talk about dates. When is the conference? The conference will be Tuesday through Saturday, July 5th through 9th, but like you said, we may be hosting an event on the 4th of July as well. We will keep you posted. Yes, keep an eye on the NAD website and ACDHH's website as well. We will share any information we have and keep you in the loop with updates and information about more activities. We look forward to seeing you all there. Absolutely, all are welcome. Deaf, hard of hearing, parents, teachers, and everyone.